You're so nonchalant about it, and I know that you don't think it's a big deal, but it's like such a big deal. You did not come home. I went to work, and you still weren't here. Show what me. What did you want me to do, though? Honestly, what, what can I do? I just feel like you're not sorry. Like, right now, you're oh. sorry because you, you, I'm upset. But all night, when I was telling you how upset I was, you were like, you're Child, being dramatic. I was drunk. I was, what are you, I'm saying? I was drinking. And that's another thing that really, really hurts my feelings. I didn't drink with you the first time I drank in a long time. Yeah, when Garrett first came home, he was in a program where he couldn't drink alcohol. And we always talked about how we'd get drunk together for the first time when he finally could. But he kind of went a disloyal route and drank with his friends and got drunk for the first time and not me. You put these friends of yours on such a high pedestal and you don't give a how I feel about them. They're bad influences. He talked about wanting to spend all this time with me when he came home and now he's going out to all hours of the night with his friends who were nowhere to be found during his entire sentence. I voice my concerns to you about how I feel about them, but you continue to go out with them. Now that you've stayed out all night, literally did not come home, and they like didn't encourage you or say, hey man, I'll drop you off or anything. It was never my intention to, to stay out and not come home. You guys literally went looking for went looking for it after hours. There's nowhere you need to be at four in the morning besides in bed. She wants me to live this controlled, caged in life, but I've lived that for too long. I'm ready to get out, have fun, be free. You not coming home last night was like way past what I'm willing to put up with. Right now, I'm just really concerned about Garrett's behavior and how he's been acting and wondering if there ever will be a wedding.